Hello, my beautiful people. How are we doing? I guess you are doing great. Thank God for that. This is still your girl, Rose Kebu, from Rose Kebu channel, where we talk about the realities of life in connection with living a purposeful life, in connection with living a life worthy of emulation. If you have not liked my videos, if you have not shared, if you have not subscribed, if you have not turned on your notification, please don't forget to do so. Like, share, please tell me what you think in the comment section and then turn on your notification. Don't forget to share to all your social media handles. Thank you very much. And don't forget that we have been talking about relationship for some time now because relationship is very necessary in our day-to-day -day activities. So we cannot shy away from relationships. And so we have been dwelling on husband and wife relationship. We've talked about the necessary things that every man expects, every man wants from his wife. And today we are talking about the second point of what every woman wants from her man. We tap, excuse me, we tap the second point as trust. Show me a woman that is not trusted in her home and I'll show you a woman that is not happy. Show me a woman that is not trusted and I'll show you a woman that is confused in life. Most women are born great, but they don't end up achieving the greatness just because they want peace. Then here comes the question, what is trust? I'm going to primarily define trust as a feeling of being safe or a feeling of safe. Feeling safe with someone. Feeling safe with your spouse. When you feel safe with your spouse, that is what we call what? Trust. Show me a woman that is trusted and I'll show you a woman that will definitely go far in life. Show me a woman that is trusted and I'll show you a woman with confidence. Show me a woman that is trusted and I'll show you a woman that's going to be great. Without trust, most women wouldn't have gotten, most great women wouldn't have gotten to the heights that they have gotten to in life today. A lot of women are endowed. A lot of women are, are blessed. But just for peace of mind, they refuse to showcase themselves. Some people don't go into marriages today just because marriages, some, marriages these days are not safe for some people. How can you say you trust your wife when she dresses up to go out or when she's making call, you feel that she's talking with someone? Some men even go as far as um, checking their wife's contacts, checking messages, checking her social media messages, and even men do so too. Even women do it. All in the name of what? You're being overprotected. That is not the baptismal name. We now call it, I'm um, um, protect, I'm being over, you're, you're my dear. There is not, overprotectiveness is quite and totally different from trust. Trust is a case of being safe with someone. Overprotectiveness is trying to guard someone against danger. So there are two different things. Most women do not achieve their greatness. Most women do not achieve the heights that they are destined for just because they are married to overprotective husbands. That is what they target. To overprotective husbands. Men that are not safe. Men that don't feel safe. You will stay awake checking your wife's contact, checking her messages, checking all those things, checking with, some even go ahead of monitoring her movements. Tell me how such a woman will achieve greatness in life. Try to trust her judgment. Try to trust her movement. Try to trust her behavior. Treat promiscuity as promiscuity. Do not say, okay, I'm trying to protect her from being promiscuous. My brother, my sister, any woman that wants to be promiscuous wants to be promiscuous in life. Your overprotectiveness 
does not prevent her or does not prevent any. Let me tell you, the devil is very smart. Any woman that the devil wants to use to achieve that particular promiscuity will give her the wisdom to handle it. That is the truth. The devil will give you the wisdom you need to handle it. Just so that you end up in sin. Distrust has earned most women not achieving their goals in life, not being great in life. To this extent now that some young ladies are scared of getting married. Most women now want to achieve some height, want to achieve greatness before they go into marriage. Because they have seen what some women pass through in their marriages. Because they have seen what some women pass through in their marriages. Most of these great women we see today, let me tell you, they could not have attained that height if their partner or people that they love didn't trust them. Trust brings about unity in a home. Trust brings about happiness. Trust gives a happy home and a healthy home. Show me a spouse that trusts themselves and I'll show you children that will grow, grow up with a healthy relationship. It is okay to feel troubled when they are making calls or when someone approaches them. It's very okay. It's natural. It just shows that you love them. That is why you're disturbed that someone approaches them. But then trust them to handle that situation properly. Trust them to go to that office and do great work. Trust is the bedrock of every relationship. Any relationship that does not have trust is headed for doom. Any relationship that does not have trust is headed for destruction. Relationships without trust don't usually last. Relationships without trust don't usually last. You're not always feeling safe. You don't feel safe with her judgment. You don't feel safe when she go out. You don't feel safe when she's making call. You don't feel safe when she's chatting with her friends. You don't feel safe with whatever. You don't, you don't even feel safe. That is why some Men who are, will I even use the word being overprotective? Some men who are not who are not feeling safe don't even allow their women to go to work. It's so disheartening that you marry a wife, an intelligent one at that, and you keep her at home. Why? Just because you are trying to overprotect her or you're trying to protect her from men out there. And who says that women in the house don't become promiscuous? Who said that women that lock up themselves in the house don't misbehave? Who said so? Keeping her or keeping her in the house, maybe you can even some men even go as far as paying them salary every month just for them to stay at home. Are you the only one that married a beautiful wife? Women don't go to work. They don't exercise the intelligence. They don't exercise the wisdom that God has given us. They don't exercise the greatness that God has put inside of them just because they are sacrificing it on the, on the, on the, on the cross of marriage. They are sacrificing it for the sake of peace in their home. They are sacrificing just so that their husband can just feel okay. Marriage is not a prison yard. So stop making it look like one. This message goes to both men and women because both men and women do it some people don't even trust their little children it is okay to feel trouble but at least try and trust them allow them to handle it their way while you observe your work is to observe not to police them guide them if they feel they, or you feel that they can't handle this particular situation, your work is to guide them. Not to look at them as being promiscuous, not to look at them as being um, stupid, not to look at them as being foolish, not look at them as never do well. Please, let's try and trust in our relationships. It helps. It gives a woman confidence. It gives her hope. It gives her happy. It, it makes a woman happy. Let me tell you, life is life is what you give, is what you receive. If you make your partner happy, and in turn, your partner makes you happy as well. That is what it's, life is all about. 
make me happy and you will feel happy. Once I'm happy, you will definitely be happy. Well, if I'm not happy, you cannot be happy. That's just how it works. This relationship thing that we have been talking about is just be kind to me and I'll be kind to you. Once this person is kind to the other partner, you turn kindly to them, you act kindly to your partner, and in return, your partner acts kindly to you. What else gives peace in a home? Thank you very, very much for watching this lovely vlog. Do not forget that I love you all. Do take care of yourselves. Don't forget to like. Don't forget to comment. Tell me what you think in the comment section. Do not forget to share. Don't forget to turn on the notification for more. Thank you all for loving me. Thank you all for sharing this video. Thank you all for your efforts. I do love you all. Do take care of yourselves. I'll see you next in my see you next in, the, in my next video. See you in my next video. Thank you very much for loving. I love you all. Do take care of yourselves. Bye.